been successfully messing with people's reality for over 40 years, and somehow they still find new ways to do it, literally and virtually. Closing out our show is the ever-evolving Penn and Teller. We have been uh, doing something very strange. For the past two years, we've worked with a guy named Randy Pitchford and all his team down at uh, Gearbox Video Games down in Texas. But we're working on a VR kit with them that's going to be called Pen and Teller VR. Frankly, unfair, unkind, unnecessary, and underhanded, which of course abbreviates to P N T F U U U N U. Uh, <laughs> So we got a special guest with us. We're gonna show you a trick that happens in virtual reality and in reality, and help us with our trick, Scott Rogowski! Hey, man. Hey. Hey, stand right here. So right here. Have you been in virtual reality before? Uh, no. You've never done this before? No. Okay, we're gonna experience it right here. Just, uh, we're gonna put this uh, oh my gosh. set up on Are you. It's prescription? And you should be able to see. Okay. Uh, now, the audience is going to be looking at what you're looking at, too. So don't move around too much when you start doing to make everybody sick here. All right, I'm already but now, sick. Now, see, now we can do anything we want in VR. We can put Scott anywhere in the world, the past, the future, in the universe. We could put him on stage at Shea Stadium with the Beatles. We could put him in Yosemite with Ansel Adams. But we've chosen to put him on stage at the Penn and Teller Theater in Las yeah, Vegas. Yeah. You see that? You can look around there. It looks like an empty theater, which is what I'm more used to. <laughs> there you go. It's exactly right. And you could be doing this trick with anybody. You could be doing it with Beyonce, Bugs Bunny, but we've chosen to give you, if you look straight ahead, you'll see we have Penn and Teller doing the trick with you. And got a pretty good likeness of us right here. We're a little bit better looking, I think, in the VR than we are in reality. So but we also made five. the theater made the theater a little bit bigger. And if you look, Scott, it's so big that it actually has, look right above our heads yeah. there, it actually has its own weather system. Look a little bit lower. Oh, You'll oh. be able to see clouds coming in. Yes. Now, since you've oh, never no. been in VR before, Scott, you know that the illusion can be so perfect in terms of sound and in terms of video that you'll actually start getting physical hallucinations. Oh, you can actually start feeling oh, on your skin yep. that right. things are happening right there. Okay. And then we can uh, clear that up for you. And now we'll do a trick for you, Scott. Now, we can do any trick we want in virtual reality, limited only by our imaginations. We looked through what we'd like to do for Scott if we could do anything, and the answer came back. How about a card trick? We do a card trick for you. Now, Scott, right. we've got a deck of cards out here in the real world that are giant, and you've got one that you can see in okay. VR. Now, you've got to trust us here. The audience will let you know all of these cards are different. Isn't that right? We have a whole different deck of cards right here. Every single card different. And Tell's gonna page through them in reality and in VR. And you'll see them go by here. And the audience can once again see that they are all different. And whenever you want, Scott, whenever it crosses your mind, you just say stop and we'll go with the very next card. Okay. You, you, can, you can wait as long as you want, but remember if you go too long, I'll hit you again with a sprayer. Yeah, let's go with, uh, okay, we'll stop there. Okay, the very next one we'll go with, you just hold this in front of you right here, feel the card, hold it right in front of you. Okay. Now, virtual reality and reality are gonna be exactly the same on this. So Scott, we've given you a card, we can't change it, it's in your hand, and you are going to use your imagination to imagine a deck of cards. Any card that happens to pop into your head, wow. that's the card you will say. It could be a king, it could be an ace, it could be a three, of course, it could be a heart, it could be a diamond, it could be a club. Any card you want, you can just name, we'll make that a card appear in virtual reality and in reality. Reality. Scott, name any card you want right now. Uh, uh, seven of diamonds. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Seven of diamonds, seven of diamonds. I'm seeing yeah. three of Well, we said it would happen in reality and in virtual reality. So Scott, you said seven of diamonds. Yeah. You get the seven of diamonds. There it is right there. Nicely done. Wow. Thank you so much. Scott Rogowski. Wow! Where can you find more of TV's best magic? Right here on the network.